Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts and to the American campaign where things are kicking off. Uh, I did not get much time to rest, rearm, and reorganize. Uh, we're immediately at war with the Italians. Now, this is a bit of a problem because we're also at war with the Soviets. Um, at least I think we're going to be at war with Italy. Okay, what? Uh, okay, that they, they need to respond to it, I think. Because uh, what I was going to do was uh, delete the Soviets. However, I don't think I need to. They don't really have very much. Um, and Italy is a much more pressing problem. So this fleet up here that was going to go do some stuff is going to be rerouted straight back to Barcelona. And yes, I am going to be overloading Barcelona quite a lot. There's a second fleet in here as well. Move them to Valencia. So, how are we going to play this? So, I think step one is to try and... Well, we're going to see what happens. And we're going to see what kind of designs we're going up against. So, we'll play maybe a month, maybe two. Uh, with our ships just in port and raiding. Uh, if things are going well, then we'll go for an invasion of Sardinia. And then we'll follow that up by hitting northeast Italy and Sicily, which are relatively easy to do. And then we're going to just have to blockade them and kind of choke them out while uh, we probably send the standards down here to take... Uh, take the African holdings that's probably the best bet but how that goes we'll have to see I also have some battleships down here now this is really weird I think this triggered right as the peace deal happened there's an uprising in Liberia that apparently is to do with the French it should time out in a couple of months that's why there's battleships down here just to make sure that the French don't succeed in that and take a province back off us, even though we're at peace, which is very weird. Anyway, I'm going to go end the turn and see what chaos we get. Ah, okay, okay. So now they're saying they're going to declare war on us, and I'm going to say, yes, go ahead with that. Uh, that is very handy. Oh, we now have Radar 3. It's going to have to wait until after this war, unfortunately. Uh, Greece wants an Alaska class. Now you're already getting one. Um, I do have spare shipyard capacity. I think we should get some more battleships under construction. 932 minus 628 divided by 75 is 4. 4 more, please. 4 more Wyoming's. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh... I'll deal with the naming and stuff uh, in between because uh, there's a few things I need to sort out. Right. Literally every ship. Sea control. Because this is going to kick off fast. <laughs> right. These ships. You've done your job. That's perfect. Uh, head back to well, I don't know, Barcelona, I guess. Uh, you guys, can you actually get in the damn port? Thank you. Okay, now we'll end the turn and see what happens. Okay, well, apparently we're kicking things off small. I expected a whole ton of stuff to kick off immediately, uh, but apparently not. Uh, we have the Vermont being engaged by two heavy cruisers and a destroyer. These are different. One is about the same price. Four 10-inch guns. Decent speed, slightly older armor. This one more up-to-date armor. Not quite as fast with four triple 10.5s. Bloody hell. It's a lot of firepower. For a heavy cruiser, I'm expecting one to have armor and the other to not have any armor. <laughs> that's that's what I think is going to happen. Uh, 
Right, where are they? Not currently visible. Uh, there we go. Right, should we have a look at what the Italians are bringing? This is the one with the triples. Yeah, that's a lot of firepower. And then this one, which has significantly less. Those turret models don't look like... Maybe they are Mark Vs. But they... I would expect the Italians to be using Mark Vs. Oh, there's a hit there. That one. In fact, possibly a pair. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> okay. Starting off in style, I see. Uh, she switched up to the destroyer, unfortunately. That's a hilarious opening salvo. Oh, overpen. Secondary's opening up. More overpens. Secondaries stay on that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Damage. Very good damage. Take a little bit in return. There goes that ship. No IDs yet. I'm going to assume there's some torpedoes flying at me, though. Yeah, we're not going to get to see that destroyer. I need the sinking one. This is the one with the singles. Yeah, the armor's not great. So what do you what do you have? Nothing. Minimal armor. They could be older designs. But uh not really much of a threat. Especially not to a battleship. Uh, okay, but we're starting off positively. That's good. Oh, we also have the Kansas, uh, which is being ambushed by these M class. Well, an M class, an Argonauta, an I class. Yeah, okay, so Italy has lots of different ships. Okay, this one's going to make it quite fun, including this thing, which is very old by the price. Interesting. We've got the Halligan, uh, Tucker class, uh, to help out, which is fine. Do do do. Oh, we're starting relatively close as well. I want to use a scout. We need a screen. 
think Kansas should be able to deal with this. She's uh, a seasoned ship. A veteran ship, even. Knows what she's doing. Mostly. Boom. There we go. Lovely. Main deck pen on that destroyer. About 16 kilometers out. One down. Immediately hit it with the uh, six in secondary battery. one. I had a torpedo. Turn. have a look at it. Uh, 12 kilometer torps. Does have armor. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Gas turbines. Radar 1. Yeah, that's not that's not a terrible design. I don't hate that. Uh, this is different. Uh, it also has some armor. Uh, a couple of five inch guns and two inch and some torps on the back. They got the Mark V torpedo launchers actually deployed. Something I don't. I'm still using Mark IVs on a lot of the destroyers. Destroyers could probably do with a refit, but especially now I've got the uh, Radar 3. But uh, that'll have to wait. Whoa, there was a torpedo, but missed. Very good. Well, well, well. Uh, <laughs> uh, the following turn. I, I'm being very aggressive to Italy, but they're being very aggressive to me. They come in with a big fleet here, including uh, three battleships. Uh, sorry, no, two battleships and a battle cruiser. We do have the China over here, an Alaska class. Um, so it's not like this part of the world is undefended. Um, interesting approach. <laughs> I'll say that much. Because we have about... We have nearly... We have a lot of battleships um, sat in and around Italy. And they're like, nope, we're going to attack... We're going to attack the East Coast. So, uh, plan here. Probably not going to try and take on the enemy capital ships directly uh, they have bigger guns, they're probably better armoured um, we only have 12 inch guns to play with but we can sink a lot of these light ships I think and we finally get to see the Alaska class in action not an ideal battle for her because uh, yeah there's a lot of um, heavy firepower in there but uh, yeah, taking out light cruisers, destroyers, heavy cruisers, that's kind of what they're designed to do. Uh, we have some help, but uh, um, not too excited about it. Uh, save. Ba -ba. Da -da. Where are <laughs> Okay. Turn, 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 please.
Right, let's have a look at these battleships. That's an older dreadnought. Nice layout. Uh, also dreadnought style. And then there was a battle cruiser somewhere. Hmm, that's not a nice layout. <laughs> that is, that is not a good layout at all. I reckon that thing's quite weak in terms of its armor. Have to wait and see. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll lead them on. Take a few pot shots. Let me just head away for a bit, actually. Head away until there's fewer red dots over there. Let them come at me with their destroyers and the like. Bait them in. Save. Be a bit more deliberate with this. Okay, free fire. Cruiser opening up. China just has a regular crew, of course. Hey. save actually excellent Not enough to sink it. 216. Oh, no, we did. Very good. Trying to opening up on some light cruisers by the looks of it. Yeah, this one. 1485. Eh, 300 million, they're not nothing. Still, just, just need to keep chipping away. I'm going to save ammunition, though. A lot of enemies to shoot up. Actually, you know what? It's the destroyers. Screw it. Good 
Good hits. Force another one to withdraw. Some armor, it's not a lot. What about you? Mark threes. Well, that thing is well armored. Mark threes, though. That is not up to current US standards. That light cruiser. Oh, not quite. Kept uh, afloat by her bow. Right, slowly, slowly getting there. I'm going to switch between the ammunition types. Because, yeah, the HE is nearly doing it, but not quite. Can do it through overpins and just flood them. There we go. Another one down. Wait, these light cruisers don't have torpedoes. Oh, well that's handy. Well, some of them might, but yeah, the Argo does. Take that one out. Excuse me. Confirm receipt of order. Thank you. Hey, flash fire, lovely.
And here's another one. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I'm not sure what the AI's plan here was. It just seemed to be uh, being very passive. Not really trying to engage me. Which, it's not smart because you massively outnumber me. So your best bet is to swarm me and basically leave me with, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Not let me pick off ships one by one. I was barely receiving any return fire. There we go. Let's get the five inches involved. Coming to get you. <laughs> Flash fire. What? Nice try. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to run low on ammunition, so what I'll probably do. See if I can't take out these two light cruisers and then uh, just bug out. There is one way back here. I think trying to chase, but yeah, probably won't stop us. But uh, Italy has plenty more where this came from. There we go. 
I think we end that. Bye! <laughs> yeah. Never really saw the heavy cruise as much. Um, not all their light cruisers, but a, a number plus a destroyer. And yeah, they didn't really try and engage me. Weird. Hmm, they're being, yeah, they are being aggressive. I, I, th I think that's very silly when you're being attacked yourself. Anyway, uh, some more intelligence, some very expensive 18-inch armed ships here. I, I tried to run away, but it wouldn't let me. Um, again, uh, I'm going to fight this very similarly in that I'm basically going to turn tail and run. Um, try and draw out the lighter ships and uh, take them out if I can. Mind you, Italy has an awful lot of ships. Maybe they're just like, hey, if they're all busy around Italy, it's just, it feels like a poor plan. <laughs> because they're going to be facing a naval invasion of uh, Sardinia in a moment. Um, and you'd think that that would be their priority. But, uh, yes, apparently not. Ooh, bugger me, we start far too close. Retreat. 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 They've got 18-inch guns. We're going to get f fucked here. Run away. See what I mean? Started far too close. I think I'm going to lose the cruisers here. There's a chance we won't. Ow! But it's rapidly disappearing. All of them have taken flooding. Damn. I think we're drawing still my best bet. Any chance of pulling out of this gone up in smoke? Started far too close to them. Basically impossible when that happens. the Aruba and we're going to lose uh, North Bend and Richmond as well hmm nasty so it's not just old ships that the Italians have I also have some Far more powerful things. Hmm. Those could be a problem. Sound amazing. But, uh, yeah. There's some three heavy cruisers. I'm not too happy about that. Is 
because they're not cheap. What the hell they were thinking thinking they had any business attacking this fleet. Oh, well, we can actually have a look at that battleship. 2278. No armor at all. Okay, well, we can take him. For sure. Uh, the problem is... We need battleships to do that. Not heavy cruisers. Although heavy cruisers could damage them. There's no way they can get into range without being completely obliterated. Oh dear. That's not good. Not good at all. Yeah, defeat. Definitely. So we did basically nothing there. Those battleships. Hmm. Weak, though. That's what we're going to have to exploit. Okay, welcome back. So this is what I was talking about. Look, we have an awful lot of force deployed against the Italians here. Uh, and they don't really seem interested in engaging me here, which is weird. So, uh, hey, Sardinia. Yep. Let's, uh, let's see if you're prepared to... Move those fleets around. Yeah, look, look at these big, big stacks. Hmm. Okay. Uh, got any more? Yeah, we've got the Morocco over there as well. All right. Uh, sure. Right. What have we got here? Small convoy. And a battle. Right, well, let's do this one so that our heavy cruisers can redeem themselves a little bit. Um, is this Ottomans? Okay. Yeah, because the Italian fleet is gigantic. Like, genuinely ridiculously huge. I'm up on Colombia. Ah, Greeks versus Ottomans. Good hit. First damage goes to us. Seems quite slow. Unusual for an Italian ship. Ow. Shoot out the California. Taking real serious damage. Yep, they go down to four. It's now an even fight in terms of numbers. 
more big damage. That one go down went down much more easily. Boom. Oh, she's finding some torps. She's going to sink as a result. This is the one that went down really easily. No armor. This is the one that was a little bit trickier. See, it didn't even have that much armor. But it's enough that... Well, this one's actually well armored. Yeah, the difference between literally no armor at all and even a little bit is huge. So, hard for me to tell how new or otherwise these ships are. I would imagine the newer ships do have more of the armor because I've been working on that. California! Oh, you got hit by a dud. Lucky. Uh, whereas I expect their older ships to be pretty weak. I'll have to see, though. It's now 4v2. More torps in the water. Good dodging. There goes the Trieste. Leaves one. Yeah, she was the actually well armoured one. Suprema. Also has some armor. And there we go. Goodbye. Right, a bit of honour restored there. Okay, we also have a convoy defence to do. Uh, a couple of cruisers, uh, well, a cruiser and a destroyer coming in. We've got the Phoenix and a destroyer to defend. Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. Well, Italy... Yeah, uh, I mean, I could end the war now. <laughs> <laughs> but that seems a little silly because Italy's economy is in absolute snowball mode. We need to cause some economic damage to them. Uh, taking a province off them, or two, or three. Uh, hitting where it hurts as best we can. Yeah, I think we hit Sardinia with uh, the standards. We maintain a blockade using the uh, more modern battleships, the fast ones, and then we send the standards over to Africa and destroy Italy's empire. Then we see if we can pull off some nonsense, but we, yeah, we need to, need to really hurt them. Just, uh, you know, Winning is insufficient. Need to really, really hurt them.
for a very definite build on that ship. Lots of small guns. Yeah, try some AP. Need to get some flooding on it. There we go. Let's have some armor. Yeah, five inch guns. Singles everywhere. Interesting choice. Short range torpedoes. Certainly tanks damage this thing. Oh. Cheeky talk. Where did the destroyer go? Trying to sneak on the transports, maybe? We've got a times 30, though. Hmm. Maybe they just bug it off. I think they bug it off. <laughs> yeah, I think they have disappeared. Right, we'll end the battle there, then. Well, I think I'll also end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I'll see if uh, the Italians are going to indulge me and have a big battle or not. <laughs>